Ahoj, this is Denka. Well, 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 here we go again. First smartphone gimbal of 2021, Zion did quite well with the Smooth Q2 gimbal and now they are out with Smooth Q3. I'm very curious about this one. I'm so curious to see how it's gonna do. But looking at the picture straight up, I can tell you right now that I know for sure that there will be no more motor shown in the shot while filming with the ultra wide angle lens. Well, Zion has provided this product to test and review to have a first look. So let's take a look. <laughs> As you're looking at the unboxing of this product, what is the difference between Q2 and Q3? Well, the design is completely different. The measurements are a bit different, but not too much. You can see them being displayed on the screen. What's included? First of all, I'm loving the carrying back. Inside a stabilizer, tripod, USB-C charging cable, and quick start guide, wrist strap, VIP card, it is quite impressive packaging. When it comes to weight, Q2 is 440 grams. Q3 is much lighter. It is 340 grams. However, it can handle more payload. The maximum payload is 280 grams. Q2 has 260 grams. This gimbal has 1,300 milliampere hour battery. Charging time is three hours. And if properly balanced, you can get up to 15 hours of runtime. Q2 has a battery which can be changed, not this one. Q3 has a built-in battery. This gimbal can be used in operating temperatures ranging from minus 10 to plus 45 degrees Celsius. Great, so this can be used in Canadian winter. This gimbal is foldable and each motor has a lock, so you need to unlock it first before you start using it. This part is very similar to their stabilized selfie stick. Zion Smooth XS, except this one has a lock, and that's a very good thing. So you loosen it, extend until you hear a click, and tighten. Everything else is just the same like on the other gimbals. The way you stabilize your smartphone is making sure it is leveled in landscape mode and portrait mode. As you probably noticed, this part is new. It's a fill light, and you can turn it 180 degrees. It is 4,300 Kelvin light and there are three levels of lighting. We will get to that later on and test it. How is the clamp? I've got moment case on both phones. It is holding very well. Let me show you in detail. So you could see how much room there is for those who have larger phone cases. Maximum range of the clamp is 90 millimeters. Let's turn it on and check it out. The power button has been moved to the back. That's different, that's new. If you single press the power button, you will check the battery level. Long press will turn on and off. And if you press eight times, you will reset the Bluetooth. I like the design. It feels very comfortable in my hand. I also like the tripod with the long legs. There's a less chance that you will accidentally tip it over. The front interface is quite standard. It's very simple. We are not getting a focus wheel with this one. You've got a joystick here, mode button where you can change the modes directly on the gimbal. You can clearly see what mode you are in. The light will be on. When you single press, you will switch between modes. When you double press, it will go into previous mode. And if you press and hold, it will enter or exit standby mode. Being able to switch between the modes directly on a gimbal is huge because that means that you can film pretty much in any app. So what modes do we have? Pan follow mode, where you can go only left and right. Log mode, where all motors are locked. Follow mode, where up, down, right and left movements are unlocked. POV, which is like an airplane mode. And when you press one more time, the POV starts flashing. That means that when you press joystick up or down, it will spin the vortex mode. Before we continue, let's look at the motor range of motion. Tilt mechanical range is minus 260 degrees to plus 80. Pan mechanical range is minus 150 degrees to plus 150 degrees. And roll mechanical range is minus 170 to plus 170 degrees. Uh, if you go all the way there, actually the gimbal is blocking the camera. So you would start here 
and you would have to crop it right about there. How is the movement of the motors? Is there any vibration? Is there a sound? I know that when I'm moving the motors, there is absolutely no vibration. There is no sound. It's very silent. It is well built. The only cracking here and there, I actually hear of in the body when I'm moving it too fast. But if you're gonna be moving it obviously slow, you're gonna be filming, you're not gonna hear that. I didn't see any problems filming in low angles, no issues there. Let me change to the Android phone though, because it's way bigger phone and let's see how the movements are there. So right now I have Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus, a little bit bigger phone in the gimbal and I already played with the movements. I don't see any issues with it. It's very good, it's holding very well, it doesn't get stuck. Let me put on following mode. It works just fine. Below the mode button is the record button. If you single press, you can take photos and film videos. Double press to switch between photo and video mode. Triple press switch front and rear cameras. Press and hold to take multiple photos. Zoom button is on the side and the last trigger button on the back has a few more features. Single press to enable smart following, double press to recenter, triple press to switch between landscape and portrait mode, and if you press and hold, you will get into phone go mode, which is pretty much sports mode. The gimbal will follow movements, just it will react way faster. One more button we didn't check out yet, and that will be the fill light button. If you press and hold, it will turn on the light. This is also the way you turn it off. And if you single press, you will switch between three levels of brightness. Let's see. So it is evening right now. I'm just recording myself with a smartphone and let's test the light. I'm gonna turn that on. So this is what you would get if you would be using the light. And I'm gonna go with, oh, I think that's is the lowest strength. So this is how it's gonna look like with the light and I'm gonna put stronger. That's step two, and I'm gonna put the strongest, and this will be the strongest one. Let me turn it around and see what you can see. And as you can see, I'm clearly in the woods. This is how it would look like if you would be actually recording with a light, sort of like a, like a flashlight. Let's check out how stable this gimbal really is. It's time to do some running. Here's a regular walk. Here is a ninja soft walk. And here is full speed run. I did this test in ZY Kemi app, which is the app you will be using with this gimbal. So what do we have here? iPhone goes first. At the top left corner, we have home button. Let's check that later. Now you can film in automatic or manual mode. Let's look at the video settings. 4K, 1080p, and 720p offers 24, 25, 30, and 60 frames per second filming. Nice. Below we have Glamour Affect or Beauty Mode, which doesn't work in 4K. It works in 1080p or 720p. It doesn't work in 60 frames per second. You can only use 24, 25, or 30 frames per second. So let me turn that on. Here we go. And I'll just put it to auto. Oh my, <laughs> so this is how uh, the app thinks we should really look like, but obviously you can change it to slim, smooth, enlarge your eyes, I believe, lighten and rosy cheeks and all that. So this is before, just no filter, and this is fully automatic glamour effect. Below we have settings. Under shoot, you can turn on flashlight on your phone and the grid. You can also change your white balance here. Under gimbal settings is where you select scene mode. If you are walking, you select walk. If you are going to be running, you select run. You can change gimbal modes below. Change how fast you want the joystick to move. You can adjust zoom speed, invert pan and tilt control. You can customize M button and perform gimbal auto calibration. That is something you want to do before filming to make sure the horizon level is where it's supposed to be. Under general, you can customize theme settings. I suppose this feature is coming up because right now it's grayed out, 
and then further below is your device information. What do we have on the right side of the app? You can film hyperlapse in 1080p or 720p. You can choose from the following speeds five times, 10 times, 15 times, and 30 times. Next, we have time-lapse where all the settings are at the top. You can create motion time-lapse here as well. You can select up to five points. Dolly zoom feature is next. Then we have a slow motion. I can see that it is 120 frames per second slow motion. Panorama is next here. You can create magic clone panel. 3x3 three three panorama, 180 degrees panorama, and 240 degrees. Video mode follows, photo mode, a live mode where you can do live streaming, and smart, which has pre-designed templates. Something like stories, just follow the movements and it will tell you what to do. Let's try one. You can also create here your custom template. Many choices of movements here. That's very cool. And if you are a Prime member, you can download even more templates. Here I want to mention that in the package you will find this little card which will give you six months of free trial um, for the Prime membership area. You can also go to Smart Feature here by clicking on this button. Below you can switch rear and front camera. Next, we have a record button, gesture control, and here you can access gallery of what you took. I want to see how the zoom is gonna be. Well, I see four dots there. Three of them will be switching between your lenses and the fourth one will be strictly digital zoom. So let's test how smooth it is. I can see that there is a significant jump between ultra wide angle lens and standard. And let's test the tracking feature. It's got Smart Follow 3.0. So uh, let's see how good it is when it tracks. Let's press the home button now. Here we can access a video editing app. You can either edit on your own or you can select templates. And if you're a Prime member, you can select online editing with more templates. If you go to your account, here you can access Prime membership area where you have video materials, online editing, upload privileges, live stream master, smart template, restream. A few more things I want to check out before I move on to the Android version of the app. One of them is, can we attach variable ND filter if you're gonna be filming in manual mode. As you know, there are no holes on the other side, so you cannot really attach counterweights. So right now I have the ND filter on. Obviously it is not balanced well because the most, more weight is on the other side. So ideal would be to attach something to the other side of your phone. I'm working on this video for a few days just because it's a brand new product which means that things are getting updated and added on a daily basis. They're just catching on. And uh, the latest updates I have actually, that they are currently, Zuyan is currently working with another company to create clip on counterweight. So if that is gonna work, we will have a very sweet package when we will be able to use variable ND filter with counterweights. I also asked them a question, if it's gonna damage the motors, if you're gonna have it, in a wrong balance if you're going to be using variable ND filter without counterweights and I was told that the motors might get a little bit warm they might get a little bit hot but no it should not damage the motors. Can we use external line microphone? Well let's go ahead and check that out. And I'm back I'm filming in the ZY Kemi app hopefully the audio is getting picked up so I'm gonna walk away turn around if it does then you know that this app is actually also working with the external microphone. Does it work with other apps? I checked Native Camera app, Filmic Pro, Proteic, and Moment. With all of these apps, you can use the record button to stop, start and stop recording or take photos. I also checked the zoom buttons. It's not working with any of these at this moment. 
Android users, what are you going to get in the ZOI Kemi app or what you are not going to get there? When you open the app on Android phone, you will be able to film in 24 and 30 frames per second in 720p, 1080p and 4K. You are not going to get a slow motion. Everything else is going to work the same. International links to this product can be found below the video as always. Hit the thumbs up if you found this video informative and subscribe to future videos. I'm going to take this one out and uh, do some filming with it. The video will be published next week. If you have any questions, comments, or simply want to say hi or ahoy, you know what to do. You can leave this below and I'll see you, my friends, in the next video. Ciao, ahoy.